episode four, Simone's, otherwise known as uh, Tess's first day off. After getting her first taste of this world and the camaraderie of it, she doesn't know what to do with herself on her day off. She's, she feels alone. And it, it brings her to Simone's. I should have called first. It's fine. There were half a dozen meetings about how to set dress Simone's apartment. And much like Simone's apartment in the book, every object was curated to tell a story about the character. Oh my god, this is a real. I had no idea my home was so fascinating. When I read the first draft of episode four, and we got to the moment where Tess says, I don't have a mother. I know. It's really devastating. After four episodes of wondering about Tess, you know, and what is it that's broken about her? This is the moment where we come to understand how desperately she wants to belong to something. Home is the past. Who wants to visit the past? We talked a lot in the writer's room about what makes Tess begin to unlock Jake. It's all wrapped up in that line about home. She literally is offering him a bridge to the future you know, that he's never believed that he could have. It's like she's giving him his freedom. 